a really good way for everyone to incorporate the seasonal fruit into their desserts is a good old fruit napoleon. It's a bit like a mui fui, I'm making a delicious lemon scented cream and then layering that between crispy golden balls puff pastry and I've got the best of the summer fruit, strawberries and plums. Now you could put anything that you wanted, you could put citrus, you could put apples, you could put figs, the options are limitless. I'm showing you a base recipe so you can take it home and enjoy the best of the season. So really simply, we're gonna blind bake this pastry. We're gonna cut it into six centimeter strips, thereabouts, and then cut these in half again. So you can sort of see it. These are going to be our layers of pastry that are filled with lemon scented mascarpone cream. Quarter a cup of raw sugar, and that's going to add a delicious crunch the golden puff pastry when it's cooked off. And half a cup of flaked almonds. Now it is important to put baking paper on your sheets at this stage because you don't want the pastry to stick. Otherwise you'll end up with all sorts of mess when it comes time to revealing this dessert. And you don't want to lose your pastry on the tray. You want to <laughs> eat all the pastry that you can. There we go. Amazing. The flaked almonds are a match made in heaven for most desserts. They are, it's true. He's now the lying. other two pieces of baking paper on top, very neat and refined. Of course. There we go. There we go, right. And that it's is the of... basis for our dessert. 12 pieces of crispy golden brown Borg's pastry coming up. Now that the Borg's pastry is in the oven, it's gonna be about 25 to 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. You can check it through the cooking. You don't just have to rely on a timer. Feel free to have a look in the oven. But generally 20 minutes is pretty good. Yeah. And then check out the 20. It's not like a, you know, a souffle. Don't no. check, <laughs> it might collapse. So into one bowl, we're going to have whipped cream, 300 mils. You're doing that That's for hand. me, yes. Guns out, sun's out, guns out. And you're going to have 200 mils of mascarpone cheese. You're going to have three quarters of a cup of icing sugar and the juice and zest of one lemon. And you can sort of see the flavours layering up now. Strawberries and cream, match made in heaven. There's Delicious. Lots of, lots of companies have made a fortune out of that combination. Oh. Lemon, got some lovely stone fruit that's you know, it's always great around the oh. early months of the year. Whisking by hand is, is controlling the cream and taking it to exactly where you want it. But do you have a technique? I try, I try and do figure eights. Just loose, loose. relax. Yeah, right, no so shoulder tension. No, no shoulder tension. Bounce around. Get the base. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ready your heels and then whisk away. And if you're left-handed, I feel sorry for you because I feel that pain every day. <laughs> it's coming up nicely though, look at that. Yeah, it's actually quite quick. And the Tupperware whisk, it's ingenious. And you're using Buller whipping cream, which is nice. And that's it, that's where I want the cream. Pan whisk cream by the time it takes me to squeeze a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Linton's like, come on, Emma, hurry up. More chop chop, less chat chat, hey? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Yum. I reckon that looks great, Emma. Yeah, great. You've done a good job in getting that ready. Thank you. <laughs> Gently fold the whipped cream in mm. a third of the time, and then all we have to do is wait for our sheets of golden brown pastry to cool down once they're out of the oven, and then we can start assembling this. Look at this, Emma. They look so good. They smell incredible. And I love how the almonds have pushed down in the pastry, yeah. along with the sugar to create a nice crust. Emma Dean. Yes, Linton Tap. Can you please get this fruit? And I just want rounds of fruit, please. Rounds. Rounds, any sort of size, really. Lovely. Look at that. It's exciting. A thing of beauty. It's exciting using the fresh fruit from the market. Isn't it? Get down to the Queen Victoria Market. If you can't get here, get to your local farmer's market. So now, we're just going to divide this lemon-scented filling between eight 
these pastry sheets. Look at that. And just dollop it on for now. Oh, they're going to have three layers. Three layers. Outrageous. I thought that it was going to be sandwiches. I'm even more excited now. <laughs> Okay, look at this. Now, just make lace. Oh my goodness. And you can see it all coming together now. Can I do one? Absolutely. Lids on top. They're almost too These pretty to eat. These look amazing, don't they? Linton. So, They're actually so incredible. Very simple. Nice palette knife, where did you get that from? Oh, someone gave it to me. It's mine. <laughs> you loving your mum joke there? <laughs> that is my seasonal Fruit Napoleon. I'm quite excited by this. And there's no other way to do it. It's not going to be pretty. No. Hello. In half. I'm going to just do a little bit with the strawberry. Oh. Look at that. It's just what happens. I know we're talking, oh, don't ruin such a beautiful dessert. That's why I've left those gorgeous ones there. Mm. Just a little bit of pastry, fruit, all together. That lemon cream. The lemon cream. So good. And that flaky puff pastry. Emma's just summed it all up for me. <laughs> that is such a simple, beautiful dessert. Blind bank, some great Borg's puff pastry, seasonal fruit, lemon scented mascarpone cream, and you have a dessert for any time of the year. Might take these for later. No, I'll have this then. I'll be left with this. <laughs>